Harry and Meghan's efforts to establish themselves as political players in the United States seem to be facing hurdles, as recent reports suggest. According to sources from DailyMail.com, the couple have requested to fly back to the U.S. on Air Force One after attending the Queen's funeral, but the White House denied the request, fearing it might cause disruptions and strain relations with the British royal family. Similarly, First Lady Jill Biden was invited to attend Harry's Invictus Games, but the idea was abandoned due to concerns about potential offense to the royal family. The Sussexes have been actively working to gain political influence in the U.S. since settling in California. Meghan has publicly advocated for paid family leave on Capitol Hill and has been trying to connect with the Bidens behind the scenes. To express gratitude for Jill Biden's support following Meghan's controversial TV interview, an intriguing gift was sent to the First Lady. However, Harry and Meghan's relationship with the royal family has been tense, especially after their interview with Oprah Winfrey and the publication of Prince Harry's memoir. During their visit to the UK for charity engagements surrounding the Queen's funeral, they were disinvited from a pre-funeral reception at Buckingham Palace, which added to the strain. Amid these circumstances, the couple's staff reached out to the White House to inquire about a ride back to the US on Air Force One, which would have been a significant photo opportunity alongside the President and First Lady. Nevertheless, the request was swiftly denied with sources claiming there was little discussion, and it was deemed a non-starter due to potential diplomatic complications and strained relations with the British palace. The Sussexes had also attempted to collaborate with the Bidens through the Invictus Games, an event created by Prince Harry to honor wounded warriors. While the Bidens had attended previous games, the idea of Jill Biden attending the 2022 Games in The Hague was dropped after British officials expressed concerns about how it might be perceived by the royal family. Overall, despite their efforts to establish political connections and influence in the U.S., the Sussexes have faced challenges in navigating the delicate relationships between the British royal family and the American government. The White House and Buckingham Palace declined to comment on the matter, and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's spokesperson did not provide a response. Following their departure from the royal family in January 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle faced challenges in establishing themselves in their post-palace life. They settled in Canada before relocating to California, where they attempted various ventures while seeking financial independence and a meaningful role. Apart from their political pursuits, they signed a lucrative deal with Netflix to produce content, but their Harry and Meghan documentary failed to receive Emmy nominations. Additionally, a $20 million deal with Spotify for Meghan's Archetypes podcast was canceled after one season, with public criticism from a Spotify executive. The couple attributed their challenges to bad luck, world events, and unfortunate timing, including the onset of the COVID pandemic and Prince Philip's death following their Oprah interview. They saw the Bidens as potential allies in establishing their post-Megxit brand and finding their footing in the United States. To further their political connections, Harry and Meghan hired staff with political backgrounds, such as Miranda Barbett, who worked on President Obama's re-election campaign, and Katie McCormick Lellyveld, a former spokesperson for Michelle Obama. After their Oprah interview, Jill Biden's outfit choice seemed to be interpreted by their fans as a subtle show of support for the Sussexes, further strengthening the perceived connection between the two families. Meghan even sent the First Lady a basket of lemons as a thank you gesture. Harry had a successful connection with Jill Biden during a Zoom event with wounded warrior athletes in September 2021, when the in-person warrior games had to be canceled due to the pandemic. The two praised each other for their efforts in supporting service members and their families. However, some of Meghan's personal lobbying efforts for paid family leave faced criticism. She reached out to Republican Senators Shelley Moore Capito and Susan Collins, advocating for paid family leave to be included in the Democrats' social spending bill. Meghan was criticized for using her British royal title and family names in her lobbying efforts and the family leave plan was not included in the final draft of the social program. Despite some successful connections and initiatives, 
Harry and Meghan's attempts to establish themselves as political players in the U.S. have faced challenges and mixed outcomes. The future involvement of the Duchess of Sussex in Senator Gillibrand's Family Act remains uncertain. Dear friend, we try to publish the latest and hottest news. Please subscribe, your support is very important to us.